Hello there, you gorgeous, lovely, wonderful person. This is Chris from Techspert, and today I'm here with the Adidas FWD-01 Sports Headphones, launching on September the 24th for 130 quid. They're a pair of round-the-neck headphones designed specifically for running, but they're also casual enough to bung in your lug holes if you're just strolling about town, strutting your stuff. So what I'm gonna do is pull them out of the box now, show you exactly what you get, and then magically nip forwards in time a few days and deliver my final verdicts. So you know whether they're actually worth your hard-earned cash. And also, is it Adidas or Adidas? I still don't really know. Me and my mates used to call it Adidas all the time, but I've heard it both ways. Answers definitely on a postcard or preferably in the comments below. Which one do you go for? Okay, so they uh, come wrapped up in this lovely bit of Adidas branded paper. Great stuff. And then they're all right there, just taped on the inside. There's the actual FWD-01s themselves. Really catchy name, guys. Uh, let's just check out what you get in the rest of the box before we concentrate on the headphones. You get a nice little pouch, uh, which would be quite handy for transporting them about in if you just want to give them a bit of extra protection. It's a nice soft pouch, got this mesh interior and everything as well. Of course, you can just flip this top bit over like that and just keep them nice and secure. So that's a good little freebie. And then, of course, you've got your quick start guide and your legal safety bore and snooze stuff. And a dinky little Type-C USB cable in order to charge them up. Of course, you'll have to provide your own plug adapter. And then last up, this is good, you get a good selection of, as you can see, their replaceable rubber ear tips and what they call the wings as well, which just help to hold them in place in your lug hole. So, fast forward a few days into the future, been rocking the Adidas in earbuds for about a week or so now, and not like them quite as much as the OnePlus Bullets Wireless 2 for just sort of everyday shenanigans, but if you do a lot of pavement pounding, then definitely these things are pretty well suited. Now, first up, of course, it is quite a chunky design on these bad boys. Thankfully, they don't weigh too much. They weigh roughly the same as the likes of the Powerbeats Pros. Uh, so once you've actually got them in there, it doesn't feel like your earlobes are being tugged on or anything like that. You do, of course, get a selection of interchange ear tips and wings bundled with the Adidas FWD-01s. I had to experiment with different combinations before I found the most comfortable setup for me. On top tip, you may find that you need a different combination of wings and tips for the left and the right ears if they're slightly asymmetrical like my bloody ear holes are. But once I found what seems to be the perfect balance for me, the earbuds, they just kind of lodge in there nicely. They feel nice and comfortable. I don't feel like they're pressing on the ears at all. And I don't feel like they're about to fall out at any point, even if I am absolutely sprinting it. And of course, the best way of showing this off is wash test. Oh yeah, neck feeling nice and loose now. And of course, just important is the comfort levels. And just like the Powerbeats Pro, which I've already reviewed, I found that these Adidas in ear buds, they stay in there nice and comfy. I uh, don't feel like they're pressing on your lobes or your inner ear canal, anything like that. Uh, so perfectly fine for a couple of hours down the gym, even if you're gonna be moving around a lot, sweating, things like that. And speaking of sweating, these Adidas phones are IPX4 rated water and sweat resistant. So absolutely fine. Again, if you are a bit of a sweaty Betty, you'll find that that sweat doesn't infiltrate the earphones and bugger up the sound quality. Unfortunately, the Adidas Buds do pick up crud rather easily. Just little bits of debris that gets lodged in all those cracks and kind of spattered all over the surface. You definitely want to give them the occasional wipe with like a baby wipe or something to keep them looking pristine. And one design feature that I do really like is this knitted tangle free cord as well, which holds the two buds nicely together. It just feels really nice and soft. It feels good against your skin rather than those usual rubbery efforts. As I say, they don't get tied in knots if you just like bung them in your bag or something like that. It's nice and easy to unfurl again. And so far, it feels really tough and rugged as well. You can put it through a good bit of abuse and no impact whatsoever. And no complaints as far as the actual physical controls on here are concerned as well. They're nice and easy to find, no fumbling around or anything like that, and clearly marked out so you know exactly what you're reaching for. So you've got pause play here in the middle, which also doubles as the on-off switch if you hold it down. You've got volume up and volume down as well. And then over here on the left side, just a single button, basically give that a little push and it'll conjure up your phone's assistant. I like so. Well, the earbuds also have a magnetic attraction just like the OnePlus Bullet Wireless 2. So as you can see, stick them together and boom, they just sit there rather nicely around your neck like a kind of necklace. And also when they're stuck together like so, it also automatically pauses your music so you don't have to go fumbling for your phone or the controls or anything like that as well. Nice and simple. It's not quite as solid a connection as you get on the OnePlus Bullet Wireless 2. Unfortunately, I do prefer those nice flat edges where it's quite obvious where you need to be aimed for. With here, it's a bit more like, oh, where does it go? Oh yeah, there it is. But still, does the job. 
Now, of course, what about one of the main aspects of any pair of headphones or earphones, which is, of course, the audio quality. And again, here, the Adidas definitely does the job if you're in for a bit of rock music, a bit of dance music, something with some real punch. You get some proper strong bass reproduction here, so the likes of pound and drum beats, nice bit of guitar riff action, things like that just sound absolutely fantastic through these things. Very impressive, especially considering the size of these things. They're definitely matched for the likes of the Power Beats Pro. Of course, if you're after some more mellow music, well, they still sound absolutely fine, to be honest, but let's face it, who goes jogging to a bit of Tchaikovsky anyway? However, I did find that these Adidas Buds don't really offer anything in the way of noise cancellation. There's no active noise cancellation, and as far as just simply wedging them in your ear holes and hoping they block out the surrounding sound as well, uh, obviously your experience will differ depending on your exact ear shape uh, but personally I found that I had to boost up the volume in order to block out the surrounding noise in a really noisy environment such as a high street or on the tube or a train. I certainly really struggled when it came to listening to the likes of audio books and podcasts where you really have to pay close attention. As for battery life, well Adidas reckons you'll get about 16 hours of use on a single charge. I found that my personal experience was closer to the 12 hour mark however I wasn't very strict on actually switching off the headphones. I left them in standby mode quite a lot so if you do turn them off when you're not using them perhaps you'll get closer to that 16 hour result. And the good news is these buds can be recharged using a type C USB cable. So you don't need to worry about bundling extra charges with you when you go off on trips. It should take the same charger as your smartphone. And they support fast charging as well. So just half an hour of plug will generally give you around 80% battery life, a little bit longer for a full charge. So that's what I think of the Adidas FWD-01s after around a week of use. As I say, for everyday general use, I prefer something like the OnePlus Bullets Wireless 2, but if you're gonna be doing a lot of jogging or hitting the gym, quite a lot. The uh, the sweatproof design, uh, the general feel of them and everything, definitely very, very strong contender for one of the best jogging headphones out there. So thanks for watching everyone. Please do pop subscribe and ding that notifications bell for more on the latest greatest tech and have yourselves a very fine week. Cheers everyone. Love you.